right so today we will look at what is z test and when it is used okay let us have a quick example uh, suppose if a government has received a complaint against a municipal school that the boys of the municipal school are underfed okay they are not given proper food that is the complaint now to find out whether the the complaint is true or false there are two ways one is the practical way just go to the spot and inspect whether the food is good or the bad so but this way has a drawbacks because just by judging the food of one day one cannot suggest whether the complaint is true or false so this is where the z test comes into play now what is done in this um, the weights of the students can be considered as our variable so by statistical data we know that the boys which are 10 years old have an average weight of 32 kgs okay and the standard deviation is 9 now this data can be used to find out whether the boys of the municipal school are underweight overweight or having the average weight as the population okay so what is done is around 25 students were picked up from the municipal school uh, whose age is 10 years and uh, their weight the average weight is found to be 29.5 now at 0.05 significance level we have to check whether these boys are closer to the mean population or they are far away from the mean population now before starting we need to define what is our null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis the null hypothesis is that there is no significant difference between the boys of the municipal school and the population and the alternate hypothesis is that there is a significant difference between the boys of the municipal school and the population okay so if we accept the alternate hypothesis then the complaint filed is said to be true that the students are underfed they're not given proper food but if we accept the null hypothesis the complaint is found to be false now how it is done there's a simple formula for calculating the z value okay z is given by the mean minus the population mean divided by the standard deviation upon square root of the number of samples okay by this calculation we get the z value now once you get the z value this can be used to find out the p value of the same selected samples now how it is done uh, if you look at this table okay the z value is negative so we have to use the table for the below values uh, so you can see the corresponding z value that is 1.39 minus 1.39 the p value comes out to be 0.0823 okay now this p value is to be compared with the significance value that is 0.05 so you can see the our calculated value is much greater than the significance level that is 5 percent value now what this suggests what this data suggests is actually this you can see here are total number of boys that is 100 percent of boys this is the normal distribution curve the 5 percent significance level that the region to the left hand side of 0 0.05 level is the rejection level if our calculated p-value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis okay and if it is greater we accept the null hypothesis so you can see how the value is greater it it does not lie in the rejection level it lies in the acceptance level hence we accept our null hypothesis and what was our null hypothesis that there is no significant difference between the boys of the population and the municipal school so this is how the z test is used